Hey guys, it's Kay Chris and welcome back to my channel. So today on this video, I'm going to talk to you about being a flight attendant. So if you're thinking about you want to try it out, maybe it's the thing for you, don't apply unless you watch the whole video, okay? <laughs> so yeah, this is gonna be all the details that you might want to know before you move out of the country and become a flight attendant, all right? So yeah, let's do this. I'm a flight attendant for six years. Three years in the Philippines and three years abroad as an international flight attendant. Eh, as an internet, as an international flight attendant. So the first thing that I want to talk about is do not apply as a flight attendant if you don't think you're gonna survive moving out of the country because um oh my god yung feeling na ano bang tawag dito homesickness homesickness is real guys it's real and some people get i know some people commit suicide some people um do not finish their contract because of the loneliness that you would feel if you move to a different country so you have to be physically ready mentally ready and emotionally ready to move out of your comfort zone because oh my god it is really a different you know feeling especially if you've never tried moving from one place to another it's like uprooting yourself from one place to another if you've lived in a place like if you were born there and until to this moment you still live there you have the same friends the same you know go to the same dentist you know everything it's gonna be hard if it's your first time to to adjust you know to move so you just have to be ready for that possibility so knowing that that's gonna happen at least when the loneliness comes when you know the moments where you have to be flexible you have to make new fr new friends new connections you will be ready you know nobody's gonna be there to wash your clothes for you wash your dishes you know clean up after yourself it's like moving to the states you have to be totally independent you know there's no yeah yeah there's no one there support you emotionally physically and household choicely oh. <laughs> if that makes sense second thing do not apply as a flight attendant if you are not open to new cultures because man culture shock that's the word it's real mahirap ma culture shock uh, about different things so if you're somebody who has you know for example maybe you're a christian living your life straight only this way <laughs> this is the only way we live <laughs> you know sometimes when you go out into the world you would realize that you have to accept that other people have other ways of doing things and you know this is how they do it in their culture so you have to respect that and you have to open to that okay don't judge them or else oh my god magkakahanap ka ng mga away na hindi mo ina ama magkakaroon ka ng mga instances wherein there will be culture misunderstandings and things like that and also when you get culture shock man it's hard so yeah whenever if ever you are going to apply for example a flight attendant position in the Middle East try to research and study about their culture so that when you get there you would already be you know at least it will be easier on your side right third thing that I want to talk about on this video is that do not apply as a flight attendant if you do not like studying why <laughs> because it may come as a shock to most of you but flight attendants study a lot especially before a flight <laughs> and most especially when you just first got your job there is a training and if you fail the training you're <laughs> from your job <laughs> okay your dreams of flying around the world will be easily <laughs> because you cannot study so what do i mean being a flight attendant you study about the airplane the emergency procedures every single scenario that might happen when you are on air and there's nobody there people rely on you because you're the one in charge so they have to train you to be the one in charge you have to be able to to memorize every single procedure because 
this procedures that you're doing you're gonna do it with your teammates with the other cabin crews and you are going to do this with the pilots as well so it's a team effort so everybody must be on the same page on what to do if a certain thing happens okay so it's a lot of studying it's nosebleed time it's like oh my god this is harder than my thesis feeling ganon yung na feel namin when we are on our flight attendant training i'm not trying to scare you guys but i'm just saying that in this job studying is part of it it's not just trying to be pretty and looking good and glamorous it's all of that okay it's all of that plus the study <laughs> and that nobody warned me about so let's talk about the item number four let's say you have made it to the training congratulations Congratulations! Congratulations! you are now flying <laughs> you are now flying and this job is your dream job for the longest time but what hits you in the face like that like a big like a big hollow block <laughs> <laughs> like a big brick of stone hit your face is that well at least in my experience is that jet lag is real um, sleeping patterns oh my god what time is it already <laughs> what day is it even you don't know what time it is what day is it already because during your job when you're actually doing that exact job as a flight attendant one day you will go to paris the next day you will go to philippines the next day you will go to us so your body clock is kind of like screwed up and it's going to be screwed up forever you have to adjust to your schedule it's not that your schedule will adjust to you <laughs> okay so this is not a nine to five job it is um job that has a very erratic schedule and that is why they're very strict when trying to hire a new flight attendant you really have to pass the medical exam because the sleep pattern it takes a toll on your body okay and if you are not healthy you're not a healthy individual you might get really sick so that's why they don't hire anemic people when you talk about being a flight attendant so especially airlines that has these flights that are really long and really you know far away like Qatar and other airlines like that they really look into the medical condition of the crew that is applying to them item number five is don't apply as a flight attendant if you don't want to work with people okay so what do I mean by this like have you heard of the word seniority, seniority? <laughs> The trick is just be positive. There will always be the negative people and there's gonna be people that will trigger you and things like that. And also there will always be seniority. So you're gonna be able to deal with that in your own way. Just don't try to, what do you call this? If some people are unfair to you, you just have to stand for your rights. You know, just be the right, the right mix, okay? Don't be too much of a doormat and also don't be too much of an aggressive person. Just be chill and but with self-respect. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, so if it's like um, sometimes there'll be like petty things that people will fight about. It's not related to the job at all and it's not related to you as a person at all. So what I do is I just don't think it happened to me i've been subjected to a lot of seniority issues you know being bullied or being the issue of an issue <laughs> but you know it's just i just let it slide because it doesn't affect me personally so it shouldn't affect you as well uh i know uh if you are not easy you know if you're not easy to work with it's gonna be a problem because like I said it's the everyday day in day out of this job it's working with people every single one of them and speaking of people my item number six is uh, customer service
do not apply as a flight attendant if you don't think that customer service is the industry for you because customer service basically means taking care of passengers taking care of their needs you have to keep them happy you got to keep you have to keep them fed you have to keep them you know watered <laughs> and you have to have a lot of patience to be able to thrive in a customer service industry um, I say to myself sometimes maybe I'm a people pleaser because <laughs> that's why I like working in this industry because I really like it when the when the customers are very happy with with my service with them you know so it kind of like uh, depends on each person if that suits you if you you feel that that's something that you would enjoy you know if it gives you validation and pleasure that you could work in a field like that then this job is really for you but if not oh my god this just totally the wrong job for you because people will be demanding and they're just gonna ruin your day if if you're not prepared for that kind of job okay I've flown with a lot of flight attendants and I'm like oh my god why is she here <laughs> she doesn't like her job it's like and they're miserable it's like every time somebody will ask her for water she'll be like her whole world was we're gonna be worried or her, her her whole world is gonna fall down <laughs> and i'm like oh my god and you're up like that that everybody's gonna ask you for water anyway basically you're gonna be in charge of their happiness if they have complaints that has nothing to do with you it's not your fault and whatsoever they're still gonna complain to you that's your job and if you're something who doesn't want all that stress in your life well maybe this job is not for you seriously <laughs> okay guys it may seem like I am making it sound like the flight attendant job is so bad it is not really guys I'm not saying that at all I'm just saying that this job has a certain fit for a certain people for them to get it and also to stay long in it okay some people get the job and then they realize ah it's not for me i'm not happy here so they move on again that's okay okay so if you're trying to figure out if you are if you are for this job what i can say is that oh there's a flag okay <laughs> what i can say is that if you don't mind you know working with people dealing with seniority issues every now and then you know don't take anything personally and you don't mind serving people being the customer service industry and you know the study if you don't mind you know dealing with the sleeping issues then you're gonna be just fine this job is awesome another piece of advice guys is don't feel so bad if you don't get in uh, you don't get a job the first try because life is good you know life is too short to feel <laughs> so bad about it. it's just a job and if it's meant to be it will be okay i was i know it's kind of like contradicting on my part to say this but what i mean is that i was applying for a certain airline before and i really want to be in that airline because i like their destinations but then i really don't get it no matter how hard i try no matter i already got in i still have you know I still have issues where they suddenly canceled all applications stuff like that then I realized it's not meant to be for me for that airline so I applied in another airline <laughs> and then first try I got in so yeah maybe it's just you know not the right company for you so try and try again if it didn't happen the first time for you okay if it's meant to be it will be and lastly I would like to say that guys there is no such thing there's no job that will give you happiness because happiness is self-made so if you think that the job of a flight attendant will make you happy think again <laughs> because actually it is you that will make you happy no matter what the circumstance you have to be happy first and then everything else will come for you okay so that's it guys for this video i can't stay for long because my baby needs to eat okay he needs to breastfeed and i'm gonna be just around so once i upload this video uh, just uh, put down the comments below if you have any other questions i'll be happy to answer them for you I know it's been a long time since I answered questions in the comments section but just keep them coming I'm I'm taking notes of the most common 
question out there and I'm taking note that I'm gonna make a video for you guys so that's it I hope that you guys enjoy this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet been subscribed give it a thumbs up also if it's helpful for you and share it to a friend who wants to be a flight attendant and I will see you guys on the next video fly with you soon bye there was this meme that's so funny um, there was this meme that there's a senior flight attendant and there's this junior flight attendant and uh, what they're doing in the comics is that the junior flight attendants are bowing to the senior flight attendant